Hello everyone, so in this video I am going to install the lightweight Windows 11 which is tiny Windows 11 and this is a lightweight version of Windows 11. So with this version you do not need a lot of hard drive space or a lot of memory. So this is a site that I'm going to download the tiny 11. So when you get to this site it's archive.org. So I'm going to leave a link under the description of the video. So it says here it just uses around 8 gigs of space compared to 20 gig that a standard installation does. So on the right side you're going to see download options and you want to click on ISO images. There's a tab here. So the one that you want to download is the second option beta 2. So I'm going to download this and it's about 3.6 gigs and it's downloading. So I downloaded the ISO file and now I'm going to create a bootable USB. I'm going to use Rufus for that. So you can download Rufus. It's free. So this is the Rufus software. The USB that I'm using is 16 gig in size. So I'll click select. So I'll choose the ISO file, which is on my desktop. I'm going to leave everything as is. And I'm just going to click on start. I'll click OK. Click OK. And it's creating the bootable USB. So the bootable drive was created with Rufus. So I'm going to install this tiny Windows 11 in another computer. So OK, I'm booting up from the USB. I'm going to choose the USB drive. Hit enter. OK, I'm going to click next. Click next. So I'm going to delete all these partitions. I'll click next and it's installing. So I'm going to click yes, click yes, I'll skip this. I'll click accept. So tiny Windows 11 was installed. So there's no internet browser installed in this tiny 11. There's no Microsoft Edge. You have to install that separately. So this is the C drive of my computer. I'm going to right click and click on properties. So the use space is 22 gigs. So some of the apps that are not installed in this tiny Windows 11, these are the list of it, including Clipchamp, there's a whole list. As you can see also Microsoft Edge is not installed. Windows Media Player is not installed also. So this is the specs of the computer that I installed it in. Now I have a lot of RAMs. I have a 250 gigabyte hard drive also. So since there is no internet browser installed in this computer, I have to use the winget command to install Google Chrome. So I'm going to use the winget command to install Google Chrome. I'm going to open the command prompt. Run as administrator. I'll copy this and I'm going to paste it here. Hit enter. I'll select yes. Hit enter again and it's downloading Google Chrome. So as you can see, Google Chrome was installed. I'm going to close this, open up Google Chrome. So that's how it installed tiny Windows 11. So these are all the apps that I installed and you can use the Microsoft Store 
to install any other apps that you would like and it comes with the tiny Windows 11 installation and you can download and install apps that you would like so I hope this video was helpful to you I thank you for watching and I thank you for subscribing